this year. Only 28% of EMU students will be starting the fall semester with face to face learning. That's according to the school's president. The remainder of those students will learn either online or a hybrid. Meanwhile, Michigan State students learning last night that for the fall, the semester will start fully online for many of them. It came as a surprise. With all this uncertainty going on, like you just have to like grind through it at this point, you know, like you just got to focus on what you can control. MSU says it will continue to allow a small number of students to remain in dorms this fall. The school's president announcing last night the semester will start remotely due to the pandemic. OK, uh, we may possibly go all online if you know certain things happen in a certain order, but there wasn't really any of that. It was just an automatic you know, free for all. OK, like we're all going online and, uh, and that was kind of it. And just announced Eastern Michigan University will have face to face classes with added safety measures in place. We're doing everything that we believe the science tells us uh, with respect to keeping small groups, uh, identifying those with our check in stations that might not be feeling well and follow from there. EMU students who do return to campus in Ypsilanti will need to complete daily health screenings. Students and staff must wear face coverings inside all campus buildings, not including private offices. Classrooms will be cleaned nightly, and there will be extra hand sanitizing stations throughout campus. Big parties will be off the table. We'll have students that we think will help uh, spread that message as well, and uh, it's really for their safety. As for on campus living at EMU, the university is offering single dormitories for students who had previously requested them. Housing check ins are going to be staggered to allow for social distancing. There will also be plexiglass installed at each one of the front desks. Also, non EMU guests after move in will no longer be allowed in dorms, at least for the time being. Reporting live this morning, Jen Schantz, 7 Action News.